how are you today? Doing fine, thank you. Um, what brought you to this conference today? Well, I was asked to come. We're doing a workshop this afternoon on uh, no hit zones. Mm -hmm. And I was asked to do a presentation on a course that I teach on violence in the world of children. So it's kind of a unique course, and it's one that you know kind of pulls together lots of theories in sociology and psychology and brain development and so forth understand the world of children, and which is in a sense an applied sociology issue. It is an applied sociology conference. So it's how we can take what we've learned to make the world a better place. Okay. And um, how long have you been a professor in this field? Since 1977, so it's been 47 years. Wow. That's a long time. Um, I started out studying. Actually, I worked in a prison in central New York as a teacher and started out studying prison life. Oh, okay. Especially from the perspective of the people who worked there, so the correction officers. Mm -hmm. I did a lot of work on prisons and then started studying work and teaching, studying violence, which there were a lot of riots back when I was working in the prison. Mm -hmm. So I got very curious about that and then started putting that together with some other things and ended up teaching or teaching about violence in children for a small part of the course. Mm -hmm. Worked with a colleague, Karen Polanco, who was teaching a course on child welfare. Together we put together the course on violence in the children, which is the course that we talked about here at the conference. Yes. And you've been a professor at how, at EU for how long? Forty years. How long? Forty years. Forty? That's awesome. <laughs> um, I'm tired now. Oh, retired and just doing the... But I still teach online one course a semester. Okay. I um, teach the violence in the world of children course every fall. Which I just, we just had a workshop on, which right. was great. And I'm looking, look, going to look into that, um, taking that course online if I can. Um, so you enjoyed this work? Have you been... Yeah, it's very something? useful because I think it gives students, the way I see it, you know, as a part of a university context, you're, it's not like professional education, but it can be useful for people who are professionals in any field, children. Mm -hmm. But it's also very useful for students who are parents or students who will be parents in the future mm -hmm. to learn about all the different kinds of things that can hurt children and affect their lives going forward. And it also, one of the things that the course that I try to make the course deal with is have students, in a sense, deal with part of what happened in their own childhoods. Mm -hmm. you know, it could be positive, could be negative, but it's not something that people usually think about or talk about. But right. throughout the course, they're integrating their understanding of the literature, of the research, mm -hmm. dealing with children, where they stand. Right. In terms of that experience. Well, just like we just had in the, your workshop, I the question of um, define human human dignity. Or, dignity. It's like that made me made me think about right. what is the real definition and like what is the definition for children. Mm -hmm. And then it makes you think about how children are experiencing the world. So yes. You think about how you experience it as a child. As who was it? Penelope Leach wrote a book a number of years ago called. Children first, and it wasn't the idea. It was kind of a double meaning that you put children first, but then mm -hmm. we were all children first. Right. But if we don't think about ourselves being children now that we're adults and we want to put all that behind ourselves, then we kind of deny that it really makes matters for the children that we work with. Right. So when we start to understand the childhood matters, then we see children differently, and what we do to children, and how we interact with children differently. Yes. That's part of what the course is about. So it has that kind of prevention approach. Mm -hmm. Prevent violence from happening in the first place. All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Lujan. And um, I'll see you at the hit zone. Okay. Thank you. No hit zone. No, no hit zone. That's <laughs> correct. Right. Thank you.